you guys had a good match. My heart stopped too many times during that game. I've prepared a massive meal for you lot. Come and dig in. Hurrah! Where's Falco? Hmm, where could he have gone to? You won the second round. Congrats, big bro! It was nothing, really. Bro, look at this! It's Jimmy's toy model. I borrowed it from him. Nobody noticed. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on his face when he realises it's missing. I'm impressed. But you do remember what we talked about, don't you? Yeah, but like I said, nobody saw me. They won't know. Oh, I see. Fair enough, then. Yep. However... I think you should return it the next time you get the chance. Huh? Look at it this way. The toy model is a hero, but now it's nothing more than a thief's possession. But that's... Shit. As of today, I don't want you to steal anymore. Am I understood? Okay, I won't. Let me know when you've returned the toy to that loser. <laughs> the best way to resolve this. Don't steal... But still be mean to them. I'm worried about the naiads. Piku! Are you hungry as well, Pixie? Piku! What? Where are Nyadi? Piku! Where are we now? We go! Katara! Oh! We go! Is this another stone? A cyan blue stone. It's beautiful. Is this. down and lost consciousness. Sky! Whoa! What is it? I saw it. Katara led me to a blue stone in my dream. A blue stone? Yeah, I saw it with my own two eyes. It's on Nyadi somewhere. Are you sure it wasn't just a dream? But for that to happen at a time like this, that doesn't sound like a coincidence. How long do we have left until we have to depart? Huh? We have about an hour left! Then I have to hurry! I need to find the stone! If you're going, then the whole team is going too! Of course, you had to have us chasing after a stone on an alien planet! Alright then guys, let's go! Yes, we'll be freely exploring Nyadi for a little bit longer. This is our kind of farewell episode. Uh, in the last one, of course, we defeated the Nyadi Eleven, and uh, of course, all the people of the planet are going to be quite upset and depressed about that fact. So, while we go and look for the Aqua Stone thingy, uh, we'll at least keep an eye on. Well, we'll talk to a few of the people to see how they're coping because the atmosphere on Silica was dreadful. Like the music was so somber, and everyone was mourning about the fact they're gonna die. This time they'll be mourning about the fact they're gonna die. Just the music will be a, a bit happier, so it will be slightly less morbid than before. But um, yeah, at this stage in the tournament, if we assume that all the round two matches are over, like 75% of the competing planets in this block have already been doomed to destruction. So you've, you've just got to kind of not think about those things. Uh, I don't believe there's anyone else left in the cabin to talk to because we're taking the whole team with us, so let's just head straight out. Now, if you were paying close attention uh, to Arian's dream, you might be able to work out where it was, 
but obviously um, the purple arrows in, in Azuma 11 are, are never here to trick you. They they are always uh, going to just lead you to the right place. I mean, at least Arian remembers where his dream is. So like I said, I don't want to talk to all of the NPCs, but uh, so, sometimes I really do just get lost in it because, I mean, hey, we got a, a missing conversation topic, so it was worth doing that, but... Yeah, so far people have been not quite as gloom and doom as um, Silica, but that's more just to do with the fact they can already read each other's emotions. They don't need to tell each other how they're feeling, they can just see it. So the fact that we beat mind readers is pretty incredible, but also a little bit of an inconsistency in that Plink was actually able to quote word for word what Falco was thinking. They're not supposed to be able to read actual... Uh, thought processes and sentences just judge the emotions and make predictions based on that but that's an occasion where they decided oh no we're we're proper proper mind readers and I'm gonna tell you everything that came out of this man's mouth unless it was an extremely accurate pr prediction uh, or maybe we just localized it poorly maybe we weren't supposed to say those things out of uh, her mouth no it's definitely not that but the destruction of the planet is scary, but so is a new attitude. Yeah, they're willing to joke about it a little bit more. Um, now that I've got the childhood topic, maybe there's a couple more people we could recruit and save them from uh, death. But, you know, they're getting a lot less tourists since our loss. I think they're going to have to start paying a departure fee like they do in some of the Pacific Islands. <laughs> that's, that's, that's real, by the way. Um... But yes, what we need to click on is this central pool. This is the first location from my dream. It's just a fountain. Where's the cave? Be good. Pixie. See you later then. Uh, it's nice knowing you and having you as an ally for all of the past two chapters. Pico! Yep, so we, we went to the first location and then we completely ditched it. Do they actually talk about Pixie, by the way? I forgot to speak, but I don't want to talk to you guys. No, uh, nothing mentioned about Pixie. I Surely, so yeah, something small just flew into that tunnel over there, so at least... Someone recognised it, but not the immigration desk. <laughs> so you need to up the security, I suppose. What was that cute little creature? Was it a sign? A call of fate? Well, it's not for you. We're saving our planet, not yours. Bye. Enjoy death. <laughs> My changing attitudes. There's the blue coral to take a picture of if you didn't before. Yeah, let's play a walkthrough mode can never truly be succumbed. Heck, we could even ignore Pixie entirely and do a competition route match if we wanted. There's also one of these that we couldn't click on before, but now that Pixie's taken us here, this becomes interactable for the first time. Is this a switch? Ah, it is indeed. That sound just now, could it be? That that one part of the uh, path to stadium where I couldn't quite find the one missing area that I still haven't quite worked out either? Or could it be my friends in Ryman actually communicating on the inner league? You did it! You won your second match in space! I guess because Arion's captain. They won't have, to, they won't have thought about what will happen to the losers, eh? I thought stop it. What? It's easy to understand. Hey, you. You think it's easy to understand? What? Your real intentions are so obvious, it's making me itch. Is that what you were aiming for? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, the, the pacing's a little bit too slow to go word for word on this, but I do love this conversation between Falco and Ito, because, you know, Ito was our kind of bad guy traitor in the past two games, but they're just clearly laughing at him even more for not getting a fighting spirit or whatever by actively replacing him with someone who's even worse. No, 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 don't compare me to him. Seriously, what the heck? <laughs> of course, uh, Lucian and Gabby both getting a word in there. Oh, no, don't close the inner link. Now I have to change the layouts pointlessly. 
Uh, yeah, so let's just let's just skim through this anyway. Trina was finally revealing her condition for being on the team. She wanted to finish school through home tutoring. Most of these guys' motives are actually revealed through the main story, like Charisse and Terry wanted to join teams abroad for their special sports. Buddy wanted to get him and his friends reinstated in school. Trina's is one that's never actually revealed as part of the main story, but you do get to find out she just wants to be homeschooled. And now, uh, if we work on her confidence a little bit, maybe she will change her mind on that. So, who knows? Uh, of course, I do feel bad for Ari and Victor and Ricardo, who don't get anything. They just get to participate in the FFI. That's all they wanted. It's the cave from my dream. There should be a blue stone around here somewhere. And indeed, it's a full-on path for us to explore. I don't think there's any photos to take in here because it's entirely possible that you might not get to revisit this place. I think it closes up after you've made your way through it. But it's still nice of them to give us a bit of a winding path anyway to explore. Oh, never mind. There's a gold chest. Uh, and indeed, we actually have some secret passageways. So yes, you can come back here whenever you want. That is a secret passageway to get to a treasure chest containing the Typhoon. Well, that would have been good for Ade as well. Um, I'm looking at the bottom screen. Is this going to be a passageway as well? No, in fact, it may actually be uh, an extension of where we were before. Dip into here. Can we rotate the camera at all? To reveal anything? Nope. Maybe that one's just decorative. Um, but I certainly see other little alcoves for us to explore. So beyond the golden chest is not one of them. I guess everything else on the right hand side is purely for decoration. But definitely don't miss anything while while we're here. Um, oh, that's a. Was that a shortcut? I'm not quite sure. Over here? No. Anything else? Maybe Maybe on the way back. We'll find something a little more. And that's kind of shortcutty, but it doesn't actually lead to anything exclusive. Now, well, we'll head higher up here. This will be a passageway to get us the celebration. Bang, bang. I w would have liked to do the double double hands for that, but uh, I, my other hand is holding the Nintendo 2DS right now. Picture of a glowing stone and then three treasure chests back to back. Wind God's Dance is genuinely a really useful thing to have, as well as Asteroid, a long shot, and Air Boost the Move Manual. All of those, genuinely, really worth having. I'm glad we managed to get that. We never did Air Ride with Falco in the end, did we? <laughs> oh, or anything from Keenan and his totem. We'll have to show that off somewhere else. It's the Hope Stone. And the Cyan Aqua Stone is in fact the Marine Stone. It looks beautiful. See, I knew it was here. Pikachu! Whoa! Arian. Arian. Katara! Arian, thank you. You've now found two of the Hope Stones. Yes, but it's all thanks to you. I heard about your planet. Is it true about the black hole? But if that's true, then how are we talking right now? Where are you now? Please, I need you to tell me about how to save the other planets as well. When we meet in person, I'll tell you everything. But how will I know where to go? By winning your matches, you will surely find me. So for every game I win, I get closer to meeting you? Yes. Alright, I'll do my absolute best. When I meet you, we're going to save everybody. So, you really trust me? Yeah, of course. Why would someone lie about something like this? I see. But why are you helping me? You're going through a fierce battle. If you lose, your future will be in danger. You're a positive presence. You have the power to save the galaxy. That's why I chose you. But I'm just... Arian, are you okay? 
JP, I talked to Katara again. Katara? Yeah, Katara is alive after all. Magnifico. Uh, but we've got to go right about now. It's nearly time for departure. We need to hurry up and get back to the Orient Express. Yeah, so Katara is alive. So we will take the quick way out. Uh, should be nothing extra in the inner link off the back of that. It's just the story required stuff that we just saw and a bit of extra. Oh no, there's, there's diary entries as well. Uh, so Buddy doesn't want Trina to go back to school. He wants to protect her herself. It was all quite nice when he like confessed and revealed his feelings, but he's he's going quite ham on on the whole thing now. Uh, you can actually go back to the Starship Stadium pitch should you want to. There's nothing here, so like don't bother. Um, there's obviously some more mourning people in the in the stands. The first and last football match this person will have ever been to. But like I say, you know, the dialogue is there for you to read if you're playing alongside me at, at home. I will just go back to the Orion Express and uh, probably talk to Glacier about the whole Katara being alive thing. Will she believe me? Do I even refer to her as a she now that we know about the whole Potamuri stuff and all of that? What's wrong? Well, you're about to find out. But let's get out of here. Nyadi is a lovely planet. But we must leave it behind now. Toodle pip! Glacier, look at this! This is. the second shard of hope. So Katara really is alive after all. This shouldn't be possible. I was speaking to her. I heard her voice. She is alive. You're persistent. If she really is alive, can you tell me what happened to No More? What I saw was horrible. Yuri! <laughs> My ポトムリ私たちは故郷を救うためにコズミックプラズマ光子法の開発にあたっていました。コズミックプラズマ光子法ブラックホールをも消す力を持つ兵器です。ブラックホール。まるで僕星の滅亡には間に合わなかった。
などですはあ何をおっしゃるのですあなたはいつかたくさんの人を救うことができるあなたはそんな力を持っているいつかこの先の未来で同じような境遇の星に出会った時あなたならその星の人たちを救ってあげられるでしょうかけがえのないこの頭脳とその手で希望を作り上げることができるそれができるのはあなただけですカトラ様そう言ってカトラ様は私をその救命艇に乗せて脱出させたのですカトラ様は私などのことを自分の命よりも大切だとお考えになったもっとも私も無事に脱出できず魂だけの存在になってしまいましたがだからカトラ様が生きていることなどありえないのですカトラ様は民を置いて自分だけ逃げることはできないと言われたのです私はこの目で見たんだ我が故郷がブラックホールに砕かれる恐ろしい光景をお泊りだけどカトラは俺たちを導いてくれているみんなを救える俺たちを救ってくれるってならばなぜ君なのだなぜカトラ様は私のもとに現れないのだそそれは私は信じないカトラ様が生きておられるなど